What's it like staying at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in 2022? Find out next while we party in Vegas on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we're gonna figure out what it's like staying at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in 2022. How's the pool like? What type of restaurants and shops are inside? What type of shows do they offer? What is the casino itself like and the hotel room? Well, we're gonna find all that out in this video. So hang tight, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, and let's start with this video. Instead of going into the Flamingo convenience store, which I know is gonna be more highly priced, there is a Walgreens down by the Casino Royale across from Mirage. This is where I'm gonna pick up some waters, Gatorades, and some other essentials I may need for my couple days over at the Flamingo. Funny enough, I actually need super glue also need some eye drops. 7003 and the room keys are being printed. Here it is, my newest purchase. I got this mini uh, Keurig. And then I bought these Duncan creamers so I could just pack them with me and boom. Morning coffee. I was noticing the rise in price of coffee here in Vegas. The Palms and Bally's. If I didn't get lucky and got comp coffee there, it would have been like $6.20. Starbucks, just for a Pike's Place Roast, which is their regular blend, was already going up to like almost $5. I figured, why not? Just spend 60 bucks on a small Keurig machine. A lot of you may not be able to bring it here. People that drive just from San Diego or take a Southwest flight from anywhere else can pack it in their bag like I did. My bag only weighed 40 pounds. At Southwest, you could check in two bags for 50 pounds each. And I figured I'd just bring in my coffee and eventually, with all the trips that I make out here, it'll pay itself off. Ooh, this is the first coffee from that machine. I never even tried it yet, straight out the box. Just like what I get downstairs, except made it myself. So there's a little Vegas hack for you. Bring your own Keurig machine. Now comment below. I know not all of you would want to go through that hassle just to save money on coffee, but would you do it? Would you bring a Keurig machine to Vegas and save a couple bucks? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're a follower of Jaycation, you know I have a Facebook group for San Diego called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. Well, since I'm in Las Vegas so much, I decided to start a Facebook group that's similar to It's Always Sunny in San Diego, but for you Vegas viewers, and it's called Las Vegas 777, let's go. I'll put it down in the description box. Make sure to join. We're gonna start a great community of Las Vegas lovers and give local news, tips, and recommendations and up-to-date stuff about Las Vegas on this Facebook group. Check this out. They even have a dog relief area here. And this is the side where the parking garage is and the Uber drop-off. They have a FedEx office for those of that need to do some business while you're here. There's a Magnet Max. And they have a bunch of other things. There's a spa at Flamingo. And we're right next to the pool. And they have an oxygen bar. Uh, I'm staying over at the spa elevators. They have a jewelry store here and Nook Express. Let's see how much a coffee is for, for here. They have lunch sandwiches and breakfast sandwiches. Brewed coffee is $4.49 for a 16 ounce and $4.99 for a 20 ounce, so not bad. And over here you have the greatest burlesque show on earth. And that's how a girl in the show dresses up. You got conference centers here, uh, flamingo promenades, almost like their souvenir shop. You can buy Vegas Knights gear, Raider gear. There's a ton of shops over this way. I never usually walk this way, but since I'm staying here, I discovered this place. There's Marshall Russo, which is like a clothing bag shop. All the restaurants are over towards the casino. This is a huge convenience store slash uh, souvenir store. And over this way, you got hashtag dot Vegas promenade wine and spirits where you can pick up your booze. And then hotel registration is down over this way. Now don't check in at four because you're going to run into that line like I did yesterday. Try to check in online and try to get to one of these automated check-in systems and it'll be a lot faster for you to check in and check this out here's the box office and Wayne Newton is performing over here and it's the Wayne Newton theater Donka Shane baby Donka Shane and this is where all the slots are and Carlos and Charlie's is over that way we're gonna have to try that out they also have a Caesars rewards desk over here but what's really cool is the monorail is stops over here and there's a monorail ticket thing right here where you can pick up your monorail 
hotel tickets and go all around Vegas and beat the Las Vegas heat. I think it's like $5 each way, something like that. So let's see. Yeah, one ride is $5. 24 hour pass is $13. Right by registration, there's a place here called Club Cappuccino where you can pick up coffee and the prices are the same. $4.49 for a 16 ounce and $4.99 for a large 20 ounce fresh brewed coffee. And the famous RuPaul's Drag Race show is here too. Look at this, you got a Britney, oops I did it again, drag queen, Lady Gaga. Only thing I don't like about this elevator is you don't need a room key to go upstairs which is one less security precaution. We're here at Carlos and Charlie's Tacos y Margaritas and they have a two for one happy hour deal here. So we're gonna go inside, check it out and see what it's all about and maybe try some Mexican food that they have here over at the Flamingo. It looks like they also have a nice patio but it's kind of hot. It's 106 degrees right now so we're probably gonna dine inside. Two for one happy hour margaritas, frozen mojitos, draft beers two to six every day. All sizes from a small swimming pool but when you're paying for swimming pool prices they jack up the prices I bet. Here's the food menu and the breakfast menu and they do accept your rewards card here. It is two for one from two to six but when you look at the prices of the drinks they're like 11 12 bucks. We're basically paying like six bucks per margarita but it's all good. I mean you're in Vegas you gotta have fun. They also have a deal for mimosas, bloody marys, frozen margaritas and mojitos 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. five dollars ninety cents. So we're probably getting it around the same price during happy hour here. If you want to get a quick margarita or like a cocktail, this is a good place to go. And if it's not too hot, you can go out to the patio. We got my strawberry margarita here. We're here with good old J and K, stay in Vegas, Mr. Jeff, and he's gonna show you his drink. It's a little watered down. Comes with a lime. It'll do the job. You're in Vegas. Pretty hard stick, but. Two for one, small margarita. All right, so I got the uh, mango one here. Decided to be a little different than JJ. Let's see. Uh, that's not bad. I can see it's a, yeah, it's a little watered down, but you know what? When it's a uh, 107 degrees in the middle of June, this will do the trick right here. Cheers. If anyone's looking for a Lucha Libre mask, they're pretty expensive here. 35 bucks. I could get that in Tijuana for cheaper, but they have them here. This is Bugsy and Myers, and it's their steakhouse here at the Flamingo. You need dinner reservations to go here. This is the formal steakhouse. And there it is right here. Pretty huge space they have. Over by the actual flamingos is the habitat elevators. And there's the flamingos right there. We'll go check it out later on. And this is the way towards the link. Over this way they have essentials to go, which is probably more pricey than going to CVS. You have this here at your convenience if you're staying at the hotel. So they do have flamingo beanie babies and all that good stuff here. And they also have a cell phone case store around this way. A place called Flocked. And you enter the link and if you have seen my link video go check it out after this one I cover the entire link promenade this is a nice place for a flamingo picture op right here so another place that is within the vicinity of the flamingo casino is a classic place and it's wasting away in Margaritaville searching for my lost sugar of soul we're gonna go in try out some happy hour over here at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville classic spot I've taken a ton of friends of mine who've never been to Vegas over here so let's do it I think we should get in there let's go let's do it they also have their separate entrance to the flamingo over this way boom it's like pirates of the caribbean over here look at this their beer here is called land shark it's their premium beer seven bucks nice lager cheers to you jeff cheers to you jj that's nice and crisp. Feels like a hot summer day in Key West, Florida. Especially when it's hot in Vegas. If you guys want to go here, I remember coming here. The last time I was here was I was 23 years old with my friends from Boston and Philadelphia. Their first time in Vegas. Shout out to Jason Schmidt, Brian Richardson, two of my college homies from Disney College program. We went here. Had more than a few beers. Had more than a few shots. Just a couple? We were just singing some Margaritaville the whole night, baby. <laughs> I love it. Years later. Years later. One million years later. Check out these booths. They are shaped like yachts. Check this out, guys. They got beer pong over here at the Flamingo Casino, too. Hi, Jake So I made my coffee from my Keurig machine over here. And it's now time 
for your Flamingo hotel room review. I spent $75 total here per night and it was $151.82 total. You paid more for resort fees than the room rate. That's usually about the normal here in Las Vegas. I booked the high roller view and I got a nice seventh floor view of the go pool downstairs and the high roller wheel and the link. It's a really nice view, I think, and it's not too high up. It's just a perfect view and it gets a lot of light in this room. My opinion in this room, I thought it was great. I see other hotel rooms like in the Rio and over at the Strat. I say that it needs updates. Well, this room, it, right here, everything looks brand new. The carpet looks updated. You have the nice flamingo lamp here on the bed stand, which I think is really cool. And they have a ton of USB ports. They even have a USB-C port. They have them on each side of the bed stand. So with this queen room, each side, each bed has its own outlets and USB ports. They got two drawers here on the bed stand. The beds were comfortable and like I said, I steal the pillows off of the queen bed and put it on my side because I'm a pillow guy. How about you guys? Do you need more than two pillows? Because I do. And they're sticking with their pink theme over here. You have a couple of flamingos, their frames, and then they also have an old school painting of the flamingo right here in front of the table. Now they have a little round table here with two chairs and a lamp. They don't actually have like a sofa or a lazy boy, but it's okay. Other rooms have it. This is more of like the standard go room, I believe is what they call it. Over by the entertainment system, you have for yourself like a 60, 65 inch LG TV. On the side, you also have the outlets. You have an HDMI port, which didn't work once again, a couple of USB ports and outlets here. And over in the entertainment center, you have your ice bucket, of course, wireless telephone to call downstairs if you need anything. And in the drawers, you have little cubbies, but also the safe is there. And the fridge was brand new. Like it doesn't look like it was even touched yet. This room looks brand spanking new and newly re remodeled and I'm here for it. The air conditioning is obviously kind of loud at times but it works well and especially in this 105 degree weather you're going to want to have your air conditioning blaring they have the full length mirror where you can look yourself up and down before you go over down in the hallway yes the door has double locks so it has that one ledge that comes out so the door doesn't open all the way and then it also has the second lock and in the closet you have your wooden hangers you have a couple of drawers down there as well you also got your ironing board and iron and there's also a light in there. Now here in the bathroom, it reminds me a lot like the Link bathroom. You have the toiletries that are communal, tethered to the wall. So you have your lotion and your body wash here. And then in the shower itself, you've got shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And the shower gets really warm real quick. And the countertop here is big enough for two people. And it is pretty modern pretty nice. What I don't like is they don't have soap. So I guess body wash is your soap, a soap bar. They don't at least provide you with that, but it's okay. I brought my own soap bar. You have a mirror that surrounds it with light on all four corners. And then it says here, your safety is priority. These items are available upon request. So you can get rubber mats, shower chairs, ADA toilet seats, and sharp containers for people that may need that. You have a ton of towels to the right. You have extra toilet paper, extra tissue paper, your trash can. The throne is, you know, pretty basic. And then you have a slide-in door and a hook. And then there's a little cubby in the shower for you to put your shampoo and your bar of soap. And it's a walk-in shower. There's a curtain partition and a glass partition. It's half and half. And you also have your hair dryer because you gotta keep the hair looking fresh. And for those of you that need that mirror to shave, they have that circular mirror that shows the super zoom up of you or a uh, normal view of you. The restroom does what it does and it reminds me a lot of the Link bathroom. Also in the closet, they have a luggage rack just in case you need it, but I just sprawled my luggage right there on the ground. Check out the Piff the Magic Dragon Dragon onesie right here. Now I won't miss having to fall in these lines just to get coffee in the morning. So glad. I have my Keurig machine now. A few things I may have missed is the burlesque theater here with a X marks the spot, topless 
burlesque review right here. And then over here you got a food court with Johnny Rockets, LA Subs, Pan Asian, Bonono's New York Pizzeria. But the pizza here is still over $5 a slice. They also have a Johnny Rocket. Right over this way is the Flamingo Showroom. They also have a little garden bar that look, overlooks the outside of the Flamingo where the Flamingos are. That's where we're going to next. So here is the wildlife habitat, the hours of operation, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. And here's your flamingos at the Flamingo. Over in this wildlife habitat, you'll find a bunch of different types of birds roaming around, a ton of waterfalls, your other casino entrance, and there's Carlos and Charlie's where we tried their margarita yesterday. And here's a little flamingo wishing well nice flowers in bloom and you also got a little buddha right here nice nice little gem here check this out they even have a garden chapel right here and there's a wedding in progress right now and i'm staying seven floors up so right around here i'm guessing the slide is closed at this point in time well there's actually a line to the go pool right now we're gonna fall into it we gotta check out the pool at least once while we're here made it into the pool you can get your towels over here in the front they even have like flamingo hats there are a ton of different pools with a waterfall definitely this time of year you gotta apply your sunblock so make sure you're applying sunblock and they have a ton of bars so you can start drinking but stay hydrated guys drink your water drink gatorades it's 105 degrees in vegas so definitely want to stay hydrated there is a flamingo floaty i actually have one in my room chose not to bring it with me they have a stage where a dj plays i could even hear it up from my room these people have the right idea staying in the shade right by the waterfall looks like you could rent out day beds and cabanas over here and there are a plethora of different types of day beds by the pool in the shade and there's also some free seating i believe here's an abandoned floaty you got another bar here in the very end so don't think there's only one bar here because they're all over nice so if you're looking for a cabana you can do that as well it looks like a big party in here and they got the music blaring all day speakers everywhere you got tvs in these cabanas too look you know me i like to find the shade so this area right here looks just fine to me pool area with shade you know we're gonna have to at least dip my feet in the water a little bit the pool opens around nine o'clock, so make sure you get here around nine. You still have a little shade. Then around 5.30, six o'clock, you get a little more shade right before it closes. If you wanna come here and just not get burnt, then between nine and 10, there's some shade. And then after 5.30, you definitely get a lot more shade. But uh, if you need some sun, just come out here all day. This is definitely the perfect place to grab yourself a margarita or a pina colada and hang out by the pool all day. Here's their little stage they have here at the pool and one of their main bars. You also got the waterfall right here. Also an awesome view of the Link High Roller, which you'll see in another video. I also like the Miami themed decorations here. Look at that, that's very Miami South Beach-esque. Check this out, here's the garden wedding gazebo area. So if you're looking for that Vegas wedding, nice little intimate area right here for you. All in all, this room is great. For $32 a night is the room rate. Amounts to about $75 a night with resort fees. They have upgraded everything. I like the flamingo theme, obviously, because we're in the flamingo. Beautiful view of the pool. I really thought this lamp was amazing. This flamingo lamp right here for $75, $150 plus total. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I would stay here again. It's stab smack middle strip. Right across the street, you have Caesars Palace. You're right next to the link. You got the link promenade, the high roller, a great location. And I hope the flamingo stays alive forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Anyways, guys, I have a new Facebook group. 
and hopefully we can start a community of Las Vegas lovers talking about the latest news, recommendations, and tips. So check it out. It's called Las Vegas 777. Let's go! And if you're not subscribed to Education yet, please subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps get this video seen throughout the internet. If you enjoyed this hotel series, let me know where you want me to go next here in Las Vegas and I will try my best to get over there. If you haven't seen my link video review yet, go check it out after this one. And we'll see you over there, Educationers. And in the words of Education, stay traveling Las Vegas. Let's go! Ooh.